Power grids which are vital to the functioning of contemporary society have traditionally maintained their stability through tried and true methods. However, the global pivot towards green energy, propelled by ecological considerations, is quickly altering this scenario, bringing with it a greater degree of variability and unpredictability. The growing prominence of renewable energy sources in power electronics introduces fresh obstacles in maintaining the stability of the grid. As the proportion of renewable energy in our energy portfolio expands, the complexity of guaranteeing dependability also increases. Pillars of Grid Stability Power system stability, which is typically divided into rotor angle stability, voltage stability, and frequency stability based on the primary system variable where instability is observed, is defined as the power system's capacity to maintain steady operation after experiencing significant fault events. There are three types of stability associated with the power system rotor angle stability, voltage stability, and frequency stability. All three must be continuously satisfied to ensure the network's security. Frequency stability. Frequency stability is the power system's ability to maintain a constant frequency following a severe system disruption that causes a substantial imbalance between generation and load. Instability manifests as sustained frequency oscillations that result in the tripping of generating units and or loads. Even minor frequency variations of 0.5% can harm equipment and infrastructure. If not rectified, load shedding and blackouts can occur. Overfrequency can cause equipment and infrastructure to overheat or burn, while underfrequency can reduce their performance. Frequency stability encompasses both short and long-term issues. The time frame of interest ranges from several seconds to several minutes, depending on the different controllers that activate following a power imbalance. Voltage stability Voltage stability is the power system's ability to maintain steady voltages at all buses in the system close to their nominal values after a disturbance. It is primarily a load-oriented issue and largely depends on the ability to maintain or restore the balance between the load demand and the power supply transferred from generators via the network. If the voltage is too high, the equipment will operate too quickly, reducing its lifespan. If the voltage is too low, it can lead to poor performance of electrical equipment, such as dimming or flickering light bulbs. Voltage stability involves both short and long-term issues that concern fast and slow-acting load components, respectively. The time frame of interest ranges from a few seconds to tens of minutes. Rotor angle stability Rotor angle stability, or simply angle stability, is the ability of synchronous generators SGs and motors in a power system to stay in synchronism after a disturbance. Angle stability is typically viewed as a generator-oriented issue and depends on whether each SG in the system can maintain or restore its balance between electromagnetic torque and mechanical torque. Instability manifests as increasing angular oscillations of some generators, resulting in their loss of synchronism with other generators. Angle stability is strictly a short-term issue, with the time frame of interest being several seconds. Inertia The stability of traditional power systems lar largely depends on the rotating masses of the synchronous thermal generator rotor connected to the grid, known as system inertia. It is a measure of the power system's stability to withstand disturbances and maintain voltage and frequency stability. Inertia is an inherent property of the power system that resists speed changes, and its value depends on the number of online synchronous generators. When a fault occurs in the system, inertia slows down the rate of change of frequency ROCOF. It provides time for governor-equipped synchronous generators to operate and halt frequency changes in the early stages of a disturbance. Converter-driven stability Future grids will increasingly depend on renewable generation based on converter interface generators CIGs, which have significantly different characteristics. The CIGs may induce instability phenomena across a broad spectrum, which can be categorized into fast and slow interaction issues. Since CIG modeling involving electromagnetics is a nascent field, standard models have not yet been established. Stability Issues and Potential Solutions As we navigate the terrain of power grid stability, we encounter the primary challenge the integration of renewables, particularly inverter-connected devices, alongside the simultaneous decommissioning of synchronous rotating generators. 
The inclusion of renewables intensifies the complexities of power system stability, affecting power flow patterns, reactive power adequacy, and system inertia. As we explore the intricacies of integrating renewable sources into the energy mix, a series of consequences and innovative solutions impacting the system's stability unfold. Inertia Deficit The dwindling system inertia, particularly with the incorporation of renewable resources, heightens the risk of more profound frequency deviations and higher rates of frequency change, change ROCOF, jeopardizing the stability and performance of the power grid. Power Grid Flexibility a significant challenge is the intermittency and variability of renewable generation due to their weather dependency, raising concerns about the reliability and flexibility of a power network. Voltage Disruption Instability in grid voltage can result in fluctuations that interrupt the seamless flow of electricity. Abrupt voltage changes threaten the reliability and functionality of electrical equipment. Frequency Disturbances Issues with power grid frequency instability can undermine the synchronization of interconnected systems, potentially leading to equipment malfunctions. Power grid stability, we delved into the complexities of frequency, voltage, rotor angle, inertia, and converter-driven stability. Unmasking the challenges within these elements, we discovered the critical issues afflicting our grid's lack of inertia, power flexibility concerns, voltage disruptions, and frequency disturbances. The route to a robust and resilient power system became apparent as we investigated innovative solutions to these challenges. It's clear that while the obstacles are substantial, so too are the solutions. From addressing the inertia conundrum to tackling power flexibility, pioneering strategies to enhance our grids. The future of power stability is promising, fueled by innovation. Power grids are immense, intricate systems where power consumers the loads receive an electricity supply from power sources the generators through power transmission across the underlying power networks. Instability events in power grids are intolerable for society. The resulting blackouts can lead to substantial economic losses and can even pose a threat to societal security. Hence, stability and control have been fundamentally important issues since, since the inception of power grids. Assessing stability is a challenge due to the nonlinearity and complexity of the dynamic behavior of power grids. While a time domain simulation can offer details on system trajectories before, during, and after a disturbance, it fails to explain why the system is stable or unstable under that disturbance. The stability theory of power grids was formulated using mathematical tools from dynamical systems, such as Lyapunov's first and second methods for local stability and estimation of stability regions, respectively. With the decentralization of power generation propelled by renewable energy, the focus of stability analysis is transitioning towards the role of power network structures and the creation of distributed stability certificates with the assistance of more sophisticated tools from network systems theory. Power grids are critical infrastructure in modern society, and their stability has long been ensured by established methods. However, the landscape is changing rapidly due to a global shift towards sustainable energy. This transformation, driven by environmental concerns, introduces both increased variability and uncertainty. The rising influence of renewable energy and power electronics presents new challenges in managing grid stability. As renewable energy becomes a larger part of our energy mix, the task of ensuring reliability becomes more complex. Grid Stability Pillars According to the main system variable in which the instability event is observed, power system stability is generally classified into rotor angle stability, voltage stability, and frequency stability. Power system stability is defined as the ability of an electrical power system to maintain stable operation after being subject subjected to large fault events. There are three types of stability associated with the power system rotor angle stability, voltage stability, and frequency stability. All three must be met all the time to maintain the security of the network. Frequency stability refers to the ability of a power system to maintain a steady frequency following a severe system upset that results in a significant imbalance between generation and load. Instability occurs in the form of sustained frequency swings that lead to tripping of generating units and or loads. Even small frequency variations of 0.5% can damage equipment and infrastructure. If the situation is not corrected, load dropping and blackouts can occur. 
Overfrequency can cause the equipment and infrastructure to overheat or burn while underfrequency can decrease their performance. Frequency stability has both short and long-term issues. The time frame of interest spans from several seconds to several minutes, depending on the nature of the different controllers that kick in after the occurrence of a power imbalance. The addition of wind and solar to power grids both internationally has raised concern about how much inertia is needed to maintain frequency stability the ability of a power system to maintain steady frequency following an imbalance between supply and demand. Discussion of inertia must include the interplay of inertia and the many factors that determine the ability of the grid to successfully respond to a contingency event. Some of these factors are listed in table, which introduces how changing each factor by itself can impact the ability of the system to balance the supply and demand after a contingency event. Each factor is then discussed in detail. Generator inertia, generator inertia is starting point for examining how fast the system must respond to a contingency event. Generator inertia resists changes in system frequency, under normal conditions, electricity demand is met by the constant injection of energy into the grid from many power plants. In conclusion, maintaining power grid stability is a complex task that requires careful management of production and consumption, frequency stability, integration of renewable energy, grid upgrades, and future planning. It's a critical issue that affects every aspect of modern society. As we continue to transition towards renewable energy sources, these challenges will only become more significant. However, with ongoing research and technological advancements, we are well equipped to tackle these challenges and ensure a stable and sustainable power grid for the future.